Rated T for Teen. Axis and Allies deals with the most prominent event of the 20th century, World War II. Axis and Allies puts the greatest conflict the world has ever seen into the hands of the players. The player directs real-time battles, and just like in real war, there is no script. With this game, World War II is in your hands. We've got regimental command and control. We've got supply lines, fires, bombs, escorts. What we've tried to do is give you the tools so that you could have the flavor of what it would be like to be Rommel or Patton. But better yet, what would it take to beat them? The ability to determine the outcome of World War II has to be one of the most compelling aspects of Axis and Allies. We guarantee that real-time strategy gamers are going to be challenged and satisfied with this game. Whether you're a World War II buff or not, this is the RTS for you. Nexus and Allies, World War II is in your hands. There is a history. There is a real history of World War II. You as a player can change this history. It's in your hands. ANA recreates the entirety of World War II and allows the gamer to make their mark in history. Real-time strategy gamers will be able to put the pieces in motion and then experience the outcome of those strategies.
there's the Linear Campaign. It features 24 missions, 12 for the Axis, 12 for the Allied. The Allied Campaign follows the historical course of the war. The Axis Campaign allows players to explore an alternate history version of World War II. One of the most interesting parts of the game is what we call War War. And it is basically a dynamic campaign, a turn-based strategy that sits on top of the RTS. This allows the player to play one of the five superpowers from the war at the time that America entered the war. The benefit of the different superpowers in Axis and Allies is they give access to different weapons, technologies, style of gameplay for the campaign. The decisions that are made in the heat of battle become facts of history. What if the United States had lost the Battle of Midway? What if the Normandy invasion had gone wrong? What if D-Day failed and you had to live with that consequence? Now the beauty of Axis and Allies is you can actually explore these what ifs. You can see their impact. There are key turning points throughout the course of the war and Axis and Allies puts those situations in the hands of the player. Do you already know what they're going to come at you with historically? But what if we gave them a little bit of twist and you could try new things? You have to create again the illusion that the what if can happen. What if the Battle of the Bulge was successful? What if the Germans were able to split the Americans and the British? You can set that up in AA and play that and take on that challenge. And if you're good enough, if you can think fast enough, you can maybe pull it off. You get the chance to pit your strategies against real world generals and that's the ultimate challenge. This is history being caught in this moment, in this game. History being caught in a game. It's, it's fascinating. With real-time play, Axis and Allies is the closest thing to a dynamic World War II experience that a player can get. You get the strongest World War II RTS out there. Combine that with a World War metagame where the player is playing any of the five superpowers and can conquer the world, relive history, recreate history. Basically, World War II is in your hands. Axis and Allies offers a variety of gameplay choices. You can play on the LAN against your buddies, you can go on the internet and play against you know, some of the best Axis and Allies players, or you can just pitch yourself against an AI and see how well you fare against the computer. The AI in Axis and Allies plays as if it were a real player. It can you know, use special operations, know how to land ships, and even send you know, planes to bomb your base. Battlefield AI system is a non-cheating, non-scripted learning AI. This AI will actually learn and adapt to player strategies as they play the game. You have to deal with the onslaught of events that occur, as in real life, and you have to create your own priorities. You have to decide where your biggest uh, threat is, deal with it, you have to also anticipate future threats. In real world, you make plans, you try to execute them, but the minute you come in contact with the enemy, all hell breaks loose. AA, we've tried to capture that tremendously. You can plan, okay, I'm going to go in with my armor, with my infantry as support, and you hit that first tough regiment of paratroopers who dug in, you got another thing coming. We have a unique regimental control system that allows players to control multiple units with a single click. There's no furious mouse clicking on the battlefield. What the player is able to do is direct and control his armies from a general's viewpoint as opposed to down on the field having to individually micromanage units. Another really cool feature that we built into the game is chain supply. Chain Supply allows the player to actually roll his army forward across the battlefield. So as he takes land, he can actually bring up reinforcements and continue rolling his base forward. With all these features, no game will play the same way twice. We're going to take you to that next level of RTS, where supply lines matter, where command and control matter, where you matter as a general. If you're a real-time strategy gamer, you're going to be challenged and you're going to enjoy this game. The RTS version of Axis and Allies is a true test for any battle strategist. What makes Axis and Allies stand out as a, a defining World War II game is that it deals with World War II on a global scale. 
there's some wonderful authenticity that supports your uh, gaming experience. The new Axis and Allies really captures the authenticity of World War II in a dynamic real-time strategy game format. Specific campaigns and battles give a sense of historical realism that is unmatched by any other World War II game. The, the game provides the actual historical weapons of a given campaign. We really paid attention to the schematics, not only how they looked, but how they truly operated. A heavy tank is going to behave like a heavy tank in the game. A light tank is going to be faster but less powerful. Uh, your infantrymen are going to attack first and uh, really ask questions later. When you die on the battlefield, if you get shot, you're going to fall accordingly. But if you get blown up by a tank, you're going to go flying. Little details that you might not notice, we did notice and we put them in. When you're playing a campaign in Axis and Allies, you will have at your disposal the actual elements, the type of weapons that participated in that given campaign. Players have at their disposal a unique set of armored units, mechanized units, infantry and aircraft based on their chosen superpower. Each general has his own set of special operations that the player will be able to access during the game. In War II, it was about how the regiments played out. You know, the Eisenhowers, the Ramos, how did they organize their men? How did they get that organization moving in a fluid way? So we've tried to have supply lines and battlefronts that move back and forth that are fluid. So, you, you know, your combat isn't just, I take a bunch of pieces and just throw them out there. We're trying to capture the feel. We want you to be the general. Feel it, push it, fight it. We were able to mingle historical authenticity with innovative gameplay in an incredible real-time strategy game. There's a lot of World War II games out there, but show me one that has command and control, that it has supply lines, that it has different infantry mechanized and armored divisions, that it has air support, air superiority as a factor. That's why AA is a different game. I think what draws people to Axis and Allies is the fact that it deals with the entire world and you command not just an army, but a nation. It's a grand strategy game. It's, uh, it deals with five major powers of the war. That is its point of difference. The strategies and tactics that generals used in World War II work in Axis and Allies. When you're playing the game, you don't play as Rommel. Rommel answers to you. When you play as Patton, Patton answers to you. So all of his forces are yours to command. RTS players are going to love this game because of the strategy involved. You have to use things the way they were really used in World War II. So the same strategies that those generals were using 60 years ago are pretty much the same basic strategies that you want to use as the player now. This new version of Axis and Allies puts World War II in your hands. The player gets to hone their skills in historical battles and authentic campaign. This type of play is unmatched in any real World War II strategy game. My goal is to get you to be completely immersed in the illusion. I want you to play the game and not realize four hours went by. Get into it, play it, have fun. But if you're serious, I've got the serious stuff in there for you. If you're a casual gamer and you just want to get in there and just slug it out with some tanks, we've got that in there for you too. When you've got an RTS that's uh, solid, the replayability is there. And to me, the sign of a good game that stays on my hard drive is, can I replay it? And when I replay it, does it add enjoyment to me? I believe that we've brought a truly great video game experience to the players. Fans of the original board game are going to love this version of Axis and Allies. RTS gamers are going to love Axis and Allies. As a strategy gamer myself, uh, let me be the first to tell you that strategy gamers worldwide will love this game. We'll take you to the next step of RTS. We'll guarantee you. And this real-time strategy version of Axis and Allies, the player is submerged in history and is given the opportunity to change its outcome.